Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm doing another rock, you guys. I just decided to try something different on this one. I want to just do this word, love. I'm going to use my number nine. Actually, this is number ten. I just noticed that. Um, I got it from Amazon. It's three sixteenths of an inch diameter. I thought it, I've been calling it number nine, but I thought it thought it was. It's a number ten. But I'm going to adhere this to my rock with silicone. I'm going to create, the reason I want to use this bigger, I have number six too. Let's see if I was smart enough to write that on here. No, look, it just says stainless steel num 0.6. Huh. Maybe I will use this. Um, the, re the only difference is I can use thicker Tesserae, but maybe I'll just use stained glass on this. Um, I have plenty. I just did a piece, and um, yeah, this is quite big to do this type of work. It takes up more space. I'm going to use the smaller. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the number six. All right, decision made. And I should probably, before I get started, refill my syringe, but it's such a pain in the butt. Um, I am, I'm not a fan, and I've mentioned this in a couple of my videos already. This is the silicone, Supreme Silicone. It's by GE. It is clear and, and waterproof. Um, this is the problem here. So when I take this off, oh, it's coming out. <laughs> that I've had a problem getting it to come out, but if it's going to come out, I will refill this. Urgh. Well, maybe I won't. All right, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can. I mean, I've been using this. It's a little stickier, but what I have to do is... Oh, it's working. Oh. I just want to put a little bit more in there. Because this is quite a large amount of work well you know all right so let's see now I just have to take this and get the okay I think I'm in business I wish I remembered who gave me that advice to use a syringe because it has been a lifesaver this is so messy and I it just helps me so much so thank you thank you thank you I love YouTube all right and then I'm just putting this plastic bag over here to kind of seal it and let it do its thing, set it aside, and now I can just work with this little syringe. So I'm going to turn my fan on. I'm just a little warm. I'm going to try and aim it above my head. I'm sorry. Um, all right, let's begin. I guess I can come down a tiny bit, but mainly what I do usually is I measure like this and cut it first. I use this. I think it's called um, a shank remover because it's just a flat cutting tool. It has a chisel on one side and flat on the other. I'm going to cut a few of these and then I can um, put a couple uh, beads of silicone down and it's a rock it is a rolly surface um, but I'm enjoying it and I'll show you what I've been doing um, let's do another one I got my nails done yesterday and I'm so glad they were so long and really oh you know what it's a good idea to hold it with this Sarah okay crafters need to have uh, their fingers workable fingers <laughs> All right, so that's the bottom. That's all I'll do because I'll forget what I did. All right, I think this one goes here. So I'm just going to gently press because I don't want too much. So see, it's already really thick. Oh, and there was an air bubble. That's okay. So that's really thick. I don't love... I'm going to try and use this toothpick to kind of roll it and pull it over to here. What happens is, if the ball chain gets covered in silicone, the 
I'm looking for my razors. The uh, grout won't stick to it. So then I end up doing a lot of cleanup. So I, I tend to want to get as little down there as I can. And that's the whole thing about this uh, syringe is it gives me a little bit more. Um, and I'm not staying directly on the line, but once I get it on there, I can push it over where I want it more. So see, there's a big glop. I can cut that off when it hardens a little bit. But for right now, I'm just going to keep moving. I think if I move faster with the syringe, there's a better chance that I will... Um, I'm going to turn this because... get a thinner bead the faster I move so it's just a little bit more of a timing situation and I like the curve of that um, because it's going to make the letter a little more interesting looking um, so this is the process that I've been using to put my silicone down I mean to put my ball chain down um, and I'll show you the look I'm going, this is just, I'm just trying to use what's there. I'm not really, I should just, okay, good. See, I just want to, and I should have cut this. I say this would take about maybe even three. I'm going to cut three. There we go starting to look like something. I'm going to make that go up a little. All right. But see, I've been complaining in every video about this. I got and I've put I've filmed several and I haven't posted any. So because I'm I'm in a little bit of a self-doubt period where I I'm overthinking what I'm saying on the video and all that stuff. Okay, so that's that part of the L. And then this. Oops. Oh, a little dog bark. Joe just got home. Um, but I think I am going to post something today. And just get over myself. Oh dear, see how thick that came out? I think if I move faster, a lot less comes out. These, I can't tell you too how helpful these tweezers are. I'm going to turn it this way because I'm right handed. Set this down because once it touches the silicone, it is sticky and it will stick. See, even though the rock is actually, it's not perpendicular to my desk, it is holding. So that, see, that's the thing. I silicone is awesome but it's just a little sticky to work with like that's falling down a little so I probably should turn it like this I'm gonna stick it in this uh, there better that way you have a little more control sorry I had that in my mouth all right And there's an L. Oh my God, I'm excited. And then I was thinking I could just put a heart in the middle of the heart um, to represent the middle of the O. And then I'm just going to make it colorful. It'll be beautiful. All right, I'll be back when I'm done putting all the letters on. Okay, I just wanted to tell you something else. So when there's a long piece like this on a rock, it's hard to kind of... I don't like when this is pulling, the weight of the whole spool pulls the chain down. So it's easier to work with a smaller piece. That being said, I couldn't get it to lay in the exact way I wanted to to get the exact measurement, but still, cutting a smaller piece, you'll see. I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to lay in this um, silicone.
really not pushing the plunger down very hard at all. I am saying I want the thinnest bead possible. Okay. And that is, that's the best bead I ever made. Let me come in. <laughs> it's just super thin. So, take my tweezers and I can't tell you how much these are helping me as well. I can just hold the bottom ball, put it where I want it, and it will stay. Then I just drop it down over that bead because that way you don't get silicone all over the bead, only on the bottom. And gently work my way around. I'm going to have to cut it. And it is, this is why I like to cut it beforehand because I'll show you what happens. I'm going to cut it here. It jerks out of your hand. See how that like, so it moved. So ideally, if you can cut it beforehand, that's just a little tip I would tell you. And then I can push it into a shape that I like, but I think that's good. Oops, look at this. It rolled off, it rolled out of shape. It is already starting to get really tacky though, but now I can tell that there's silicone on this side of the bead here. So as I'm going with this, I'm learning it's there's definitely, like this looks like it doesn't connect. I'm going to go up a little higher. And now there's just a big, um, a big goop of silicone here. All right, so I just got that off. It's helpful to have toothpicks. I have these big sandwich ones. Because I can just throw that away when I get the silicone on it. But this needs a little bit. There's no silicone here, so I'm going to because I it went down there for some reason. I'm just moving that and I'm going to put a little ugh, I'm going to just do it on here. It's very sticky. It is a great adhesive. It's just messy. That's my main conflict with this. See? Cuz once you get it I really want to line it up with that so that it looks like it's I think that looks good. I just need to leave it, but it will slide a little bit. So keep coming back and looking at your work until you're done. Um, as you go, every time I concentrate over here, just keep looking back there. And I don't love that I got silicone out here. I'm, get, I'm thinking probably once it's dry, I'll be able to scrape it off the rock. That's been my experience. Once it dries, you can get it off. So um, that's all. I just wanted to share that little piece. So like right here, if I have the weight, this is pulling down. Like it's, you know, so if I can just cut it before I lay it in. So I'm going to cut it right here. Now when I lay my bead of silicone, it's, a, it's like a one and done. Really thin. Please, please, please. See, I'm moving a little faster. Oh, I got a little air bubble in there that made it weird. Okay. Maybe I should wipe the tip of the syringe as well. There's a lot of little things I think I could be doing to help me. But mainly, I just set it down and just let it fall. Oops, that was crooked onto the bead and then press it in. That's the neatest way I've, I've found that I can do this without getting silicone in areas that, because the grout won't stick to it, it also, if I got a big clump of it here, when I went to lay down tile, the tile wouldn't lay flat. So, all right, I'll be back. If I think of something else, I'll let you know. All right, I'm on the E, and I have to say, I am getting better and better at the, the the beading so I make it stick first then I just really don't even put any pressure on the plunger and just I'm getting so good at really keeping it thin and then set it down also 
the tweezers is a must because um, you just put it on top of the bead and then finish so as this video is progressing I'm finding that practice is going to be great but also having a big a big piece like this by the end you're going to be a master <laughs> so again I'm just taking this lining it up measure I'm going to cut right here pre-cut that chain hold this piece the end piece while you're cutting because it'll fling away set the silicone down and so it's on the piece and just drag it gently and then lift that's I don't even know if I was in the shot I hope so again take the end sit it in the silicone and then pat your way over kind of wanted it up there so I'm going to pull it a little further over um, I wanted the angles eh, they're all different they're all different the angles it looks good though you know what I mean like the angle of the alright so like here I don't know if I'm going to keep these all straight that might look good though to just let's see what this side looks like it's a little curvy um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it too much. This line I probably want to be straight, but again, it doesn't have to be. Like, this can go up a little and over, so, you know, it's just how measure first. Alright, and then the other thing I was going to show you, I love this look. I think I love it, but look at the rock. See how it's not flat? It's wonky. There are ways around that. I could build up the background a little and put it, you know, I'm not expert enough, so I think I'm going to go with a piece of tile that I can say I put this heart here. It's, it's not, oh, a little bit. It has a little rock to it, but I could cut this in half. So watch this as a way around that. And you have a big piece that you want to put on a rock that's like not perfectly flat if you cut it in half this piece is fully flush I might even have to cut this one again no, it feels pretty connected um, so in other words there are ways around things. I'm not even sure I'm going to put that there, but I kind of like the idea of putting a heart in the middle of it. I don't have a red one. I do have a red one. Not this height, not this style, but it's a different thickness. Um, but that's what I'm thinking. All right, and that's it. I'll be back. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know. All right, something else has happened. Okay, in the rock, there's a divot here right here I actually got some dirt out of it I had drawn the E to come across here but I'm not going to be able to put a piece of tile there and have it sit flush it's it's got a hole I mean I could fill it in but all I'm going to do is take my silicone and I'm going to just not even go over that divot I'm going to go in front of it I cut my kind of so the ball chain can be the ball chain can go through a divot. It can have this, it can go like that, you know, because it bends. A tile can't. A tile is flat, so there would be like a, um, like a pocket under it. So I'm just going to avoid that and make my E a little different shape. Maybe I'll go 
do the same here or maybe I'll make them all have that I don't know I kind of I think these two will go that way so in other words uh, where is my my desk is so full of stuff because I'm I'm enjoying this I haven't been in here in so long uh, well I have yesterday and today <laughs> all right here it is I'm looking for my so in other words I'll make this that way and see there's another divot here I'm just gonna have to lay my tiles in such a way that um, like it literally goes in here I might have to just make a lot of silicone there so that my the tile will sit on top of the silicone you know what I'm saying so this is gonna go this way um, kind of cool looking that's going to do me and I will have to deal with this it's not that big a deal it's going to be like one or two tiles and I'll be able to either cut them in such a way that they lay over that spot okay you know I avoided this one I did not even see that one um, other than that I have pretty flat like this totally goes this way you know so that it's flat it's not like I'll explain it to you oh see it let me come up and I'll show you how the rock is right now it's so you can it goes up this way the rock that's a good angle I'll be able to do I'll be able to work around it all right yeah I'm gonna go with it and this is all design choices and things that you can change um okay i'll be back in a minute all right I, my e is the wonkiest part but that's okay this got a little fudgy um i did i did the best i could to get that shape um i do want to figure out because i really do love this cross it's so pretty and it has bling but i don't think it's going to go there I could put another, like a, just a piece of silver. I have these buttons. I do like these. I think that could be a good idea. So, in other words, once I start to fill it, the O, oh, I mean the heart will become, this will be like in the middle of the heart. It will give the, it's a little small, but I like it. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to use this button as a, I like this one with the flower. I'll see what else I have too but I like the idea if it and because it's a button I'm gonna prop it like um, I have this other rock let me show you I propped it up this is the same uh, not the same but a similar button it was from the same button pack I have to grab this but the button is actually on top of some of the tiles so there's an you know it's kind of I siliconed it down I mean it's stuck and then I'll grout around it and I won't put the grout on it you know what I mean so um I think I'm thinking that's what I'll do I'm gonna I could pro possibly even put this it would be above I think I might put it I just really like it um I don't know I'd like to find a silver heart I just haven't I have been through my stash. I mean, I, I think a silver butterfly would really look nice, too. I might have one. See, here's another button. That's a cool-looking button. Has a couple holes in it. Um, here's a square button. Ooh, kind of like that. And it's just really the, the brightness. Oh, I found another one. Ooh, a swirly one. So... It's the brightness of those that's like really attracting me and um, I like and it matches the silver of the ball chain so I just have to go through my stash but like if this was silver and maybe a little bigger because of the ball chain that's really the only reason I'm going with the silver I want it to kind of pull oh wait here's a it's like a it's not as bright though it has bling it's been in my stash forever Nah, I mean, and it's just, 
auditioning. Now I'm auditioning things that I could put there. And I mean, I don't actually hate that. But I have an angel. This angel would probably look good, but she's a little small. I just don't see it. The composition is a little bigger. So like I said, like this butterfly, if it was bigger and silver. And I've been, oop, there's a crown. But I've been over at Michael's and um, jo uh, Joanne's too and Hobby Lobby, all the places, and looking for silver jewelry findings. And I've just not come up with it. So here's a fish. Anyway, I will come up with something. And I will, look at these though, these crosses. These came on the same, um, this is a bead findings. That came, they all came on the same uh, strand, these crosses. This is two-tone. These are two-tone. And this is straight silver. And I think I've used an, another one. Um, or I could just use a piece of tile. Like I said, I could use any one of these hearts. Because I think I might just grab a red. Here's a pink heart. That would do it. I could put ball chain around it to get, but I really just want to go silver. All right. Anyway, thanks, you guys. I hope that helped. Um, if you're in the mood to create a mosaic rock using silicone, don't forget your syringe. I ordered this on Amazon. Just makes the world of difference. Um, I still get it all over me. The ball chain I got on Amazon as well. And... You get, you get your rocks at your rock quarry places. Uh, all right, that's it. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.